Hello, I am going to show you how to install the Overdrive Media Console on an Android device. We're going to go to the Google Play Store, select Apps, do a search for Overdrive Media Console, and it's a free app. Click on that, then we'll click on Install. Accept and download. And it's installed. Now we'll open it. And this tells you about the media console. There's the bookshelf, which will display all the uh, books you have currently checked out on it. And if we want to add a book, we can select this right here. And we don't have any book lists or books in our list, so we'll uh, say add library. And we'll do a search for our local library, Marysville Public Library. And it pulled up one for Michigan and one for Ohio. So we're in Ohio. And then we'll tap the star to save a website to your get books list. So we'll hit that. So we won't, hopefully won't have to uh, search for Marysville Library again. And we'll wait a little bit until that loads up. And there will also be some books that aren't able to be downloaded to uh, Android device. Um, both uh, e-books and uh, audio books directly from the player. Um, some of those will require you to download them to a computer and then transfer them to the player. And it for some reason doesn't seem to be coming up. We'll say open in browser. Is that going to let us do that? No. Oh, I'll say wait. Probably should have had it close it. Yes, close it, okay. Oh, here we go. Digitalbooks.moldy.org. I'll close that. Let's go over to the home screen. There's the app we just installed. And also a little should show up in here, right here. Let's go back into this again and uh, see if we're able to use it. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be pulling up. I'm actually uh, up oh, there it goes. Okay, so now we can do a search for an ebook or an audio book. Oh, let's see. Let's do 
a audio book we'll say classic literature And let's see, what shall we select? Devices. We'll do uh, Android 4, because this is running Android version 4. Here's one, uh, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. So we'll select this one. And we can borrow it. Or if we select this link, it'll uh, take us to an online store where we can purchase it. So I'm going to select borrow. And on this screen, we'll have to select our library again. Put in our library card. Say remember. And if I want to return this, I can select return title. But I want to download it. So I'm going to select download. And we can see here it's been added to my bookshelf. So if we go back, well, let's see. Let me go into here. Oh, it's still downloading. Part one. There it is. Files. And now it's downloading part three. And we'll go back to our home screen again and fire this up. Let's see. There's, we're back to our bookshelf. And as you can see, our book is here. And, uh, it is playing, but it's not playing that well. So we'll pause it here. And uh, that is how you can download an audiobook and play it. If we go to navigation, we can select our parts or a different chapter. Say if we wanted to skip ahead to chapter three, 
we can select that. And then if we go to bookmarks, we don't have any bookmarks. And uh, we'll go back out to our bookshelf. And let's look for a ebook. So we'll go back to the digital downloads website. And we'll say, um, look for a nonfiction ebook. And it's still working. There we go. And we're going to scroll down to devices again. And we're going to select Android 4. Now, depending on your phone or your tablet, uh, it may be running an older version of Android. And you'll have to check what version of Android that uh, yours is running. And let's see. This looks like a good one. Calamity Jane. We'll select that ebook. Oh, it's already out, so we can place a hold on it or we can buy it now. Let's see what we have here. How about this nice book of fairy tales? We'll see if that's available. Okay, this one's available. So I'll select borrow here. And I will download a EPUB format. And it's loading the title. Oh, we have an ID. I do I have an ID? I think I do. Let's see. So now I have it tied to my digital ID. And we just got a message here, the download's complete. And we'll go back to our bookshelf, and right here is the ebook reader. And this will tell you what you need to do to navigate through an uh, ebook. Chapter progress. Right around page two, page three. There's contents. Oh, that's probably not downloaded yet. But you should be able to navigate the contents once it's all downloaded. So if we go back to here, here's the contents. So if we want to do hands and luck, we can click that. And then it'll take us there. And we can read our ebook.
Now, this uh, Android tablet I have is um, actually running inside a virtualization software on my computer, which is why I'm using the mouse to navigate it since I don't have a touch screen. And you can hear my keyboard clicks. And this concludes downloading an audiobook and an ebook on an uh, Android device um, after installing the Overdrive Media Console. So I hope you find the screencast useful and happy reading.